peaceful and selfless. That's how Fabian Sanchez Gonzalez's brother is remembering him in a heartfelt message on a GoFundMe page. No arrests have been made and now people working in this area say they're constantly concerned about safety. Hopefully somebody can get a good angle on something and able, you know, to be able to, to bring this to justice. 23 year old Fabian Sanchez Gonzalez was shot during a robbery at T-Mobile on Boston Street in Canton Sunday. Police say he died from his injuries. It's, it's heartbreaking. Um, I've been here for 10 years and every night, you know, every day I walk out of here, I worry, you know, I, I make sure I have something with me just in case or, you know, I have an extra person walking with me. Um, we do have security around here, but sometimes, you know, that's not always beneficial for us. There's now a GoFundMe to raise money for Fabian's funeral. His brother Carlos describing him as caring and peaceful, always putting his family first. In a statement, he says in part, quote, he was full of life and he always smiled and joked around with us and kept us filled with joy. He was the definition of being a brother, a son and a friend. He had a big heart, a heart of gold. You always wonder now and look behind your back and wonder if, you know, everything's going to be okay or if somebody's watching or, or anything like that. Brittany Tracy and her son worked just a few steps from T-Mobile at Nally Fresh. She says her son was working when the shooting happened. My heart was beating. I called them automatically, you know, to make sure everything was okay. Um, and then, you know, the detective started to come around and secure the building, make sure everybody was okay, lock down the space. Tracy says her restaurant has been broken into twice. Antonio Williams, the plaza groundskeeper, says crime is becoming more common. Nothing happened on the weekdays. It's always happened on the weekend, just like with Tropical uh, Cafe. They got robbed a few weeks back, but it was on the weekend and it was during day, daytime. Both concerned that violence is ramping up. Because that could have been anybody. That could have been any one of us. So for that to happen so close to home, it, it, it got to wake you up. People just want to enjoy, and, and I feel like they can no longer do that now. Nobody is safe anymore being able to walk around in the streets of Baltimore. The T-Mobile store remains closed days after that robbery, and so far police have not released any surveillance video of the two suspects, nor have they made any arrests. In Canton, I'm Janine Donaldson for WBAL TV 11 News.